Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priya Sapaha. Today we are going to discuss a very common topic and very simple topic that is what is the difference between civil law and criminal law. Although it appears to be a very simple topic for the person who is having a knowledge of law, but still I find that there are many students who are still having a problem to understand the difference between the two. And this is basically for all my friends who usually ask me a question that is there is a difference between the two or what is the difference between the court? Why uh, civil case is different and criminal case is different? Although they know in a broader aspect the difference between the two, but still uh, the technical term or exactly the difference between the two we are going to discuss in this particular video. So the first difference is about the meaning of civil and criminal. Civil is something which is when the problem is between individual to individual or individual and a company or any organization. Why company or organization? Because any company is also a person according to law. So that's why if there is any problem. Now which type of problem? The problem might be and definitely related to breach of contract. So if there is a breach of contract between the two individuals or company to company, then it comes under civil law. And in criminal law, the problem is between the individual and the society or a state. Now why society? Because crime is something which affects not only individual but to the whole society. That's why it is related to the society. So if we uh, look at the case laws, so you will find that in civil case law, the case might be like Ramesh versus Suresh because here the problem is between the individuals or Ramesh versus gold mine. So that means there is a company. So that is a case related to civil case. Here, here the problem is specific to a person only. And if we see at the criminal cases, the cases is like Ramesh versus state of Madhya Pradesh. Why there is state of Madhya Pradesh? Because here the first reason is crime is always affecting a society at large. That is the first difference. And second difference is related to the procedure of the of filing a, a FIR or complaint and the procedure, the pre-trial process procedure, which is having a 16 stages, which I have already discussed in my previous videos, that there are 16 stages of pre-trial and then the case started. It is not that we directly go to the, in criminal cases, we directly go to the advocate and the case will be in the court. Here, there are n number of things. As I said, there are 16 stages of pre-trial. So it is through government, now, through government is whenever there is any crime what happens say for example if there is a murder so the person who is murder he will be definitely murder but the other person either he will go to the police station and file an FIR or lodge an FIR or else police will come to his his or them their home to uh, to investigation for investigation and there is a proper procedure I have made already a procedure, a procedure of a criminal trial and everything. And you can see that particular video also if you want to know the detailed thing. But in short, usually there is an FIR. Then after FIR, there will be investigation, interrogation, many things. And on the basis of that investigation, there is a police report. And then that particular thing is filed through by the police officer to the magistrate. So here the complaint is filed by the magistrate on the basis of all the investigation and everything. So the here, here the person is police officer who is filing. So that's why police officer is considered as a representative of a state. So that's why the case is between the Ramesh versus state of Madhya Pradesh, not Ramesh versus Suresh. Whereas in civil law, the case is, case is simple between the Ramesh versus Suresh or Ramesh versus gold mine. So that could be the one thing that is the first difference between civil and criminal law. Now, if we want to understand even the civil law, uh, we can understand through the remedies. What are the legal remedies? Basically, what happened? In civil law, there is always a breach of contract. 
as I said earlier also that there is always a breach of contract. So in if there is a breach of contract, there are basically three remedies which is prescribed by the uh, law. The first one is either the monetary level or something, a compensation in a form of a money is given. The second thing is any sort of compensation which is desired by the individuals and which comes under the ambit of law that can be given to the another individual. And third thing is injunction. So this injunction or you can say stay in a common language that is also desired in some of the cases. So these are the legal remedies which is uh, any one of them is given to a party who is affected. So uh, how these remedies can be given? Now the first one that is money is very simple. If two persons, uh, uh, two person uh, is having a problem, that means uh, if uh, A has given uh, 50,000 rupees to B and he said, B said that he is going to return that money after two months and if after two months B refuses to return that money, definitely A will sue B and he will definitely want his money to be given to him. That is a breach of contract and this is a very simple example which is usually happen and uh, here the, uh, if there is a problem related with the money then the simple money can be given and if they want a compensation in a not in a form of money but if uh, suppose if A is uh, purchasing something for which he has expect he is expecting money from B which he promised to return after two months so he has purchased something so maybe in a compensation he wants that he will purchase that particular thing which definitely is uh, of that particular amount only so that could be the compensation also or any other sort of compensation now as far as injunction is concerned the good example is a suppose if there is any artist and if that artist has made a contract with uh, some company that artist could be anyone he may be singer he may be dancer he may be actor he may be anyone so if he or she is having a contract with some company that for one year uh, that artist is going to perform for that company only and if he is doing a breach of contract that in mid of uh, one year he is performing for any other company now in that case the company with which he has already made a contract he will either file or want a remedy either in a form of money or a compensation or an injunction that means that he definitely want to stay that he should that court should stop that person to perform for any other company so that could be the example of all these three remedy in this form which is that can be desired depending upon the loss which the other company is might be facing because of the artist breach of contract so that is a thing related with the legal remedy which usually happen or is a consequence of any civil cases whereas if we talk about criminal cases the remedy is not in a form of compensation or money there is always a punishment there may be a simple punishment rigorous punishment or death penalty or life imprisonment or anything like this and there may be fine there may be only punishment or fine or both so there is always a punishment in criminal cases there is in civil cases there is always a compensation so this is the second difference between the now the difference of the purpose of civil case and civil law or a criminal law basically in civil law the main purpose is to sustain the right of an individual whereas in criminal law it is basically to maintain law and order in the society so that is also a basic difference and that is why uh, in criminal cases it is called as a crime and in civil cases it is called as an offense it is not a crime we say that breach of contract is not a crime but if there is a murder definitely it this is this comes under the category of a crime so the purpose is to maintain law and order and here the in civil case the purpose is to sustain the right of a of any individual 
Now in civil case, usually we say that the person is liable or not liable. That means there is a civil liability or uh, not there is a not a civil liability whereas in uh, criminal cases usually we say that the person is guilty or not guilty although the proof of guilty is always on depends upon criminal liability so here the term is criminal liability which is the basic to frame uh, the liability or to prove any person guilty so the person is guilty or non guilty and they are the uh, liable or not liable so this is all about the difference between civil law and criminal law. I hope you understand the difference between the two because this is very simple in nature. And if you like the video, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. You may also follow us in various social media platform that is Facebook, that is FB page Law Colloquio, Instagram, a law colloquial, Twitter law colloquial, and in LinkedIn also the name of law colloquial. We are also having a website that is priyasipaha.com, popularly known as law colloquial, where we used to share uh, articles, blog, news headlines, and uh, law notes, everything. We are also into um, conducting various webinars, seminars, and lecture series. You may also uh, go go through that particular website and you are also welcome to submit your blog law notes case studies Everything all write-ups and the detail of this you can find on priyasipaha.com So this is all about today. See you soon. Bye. Bye